What's up guys, it is Sam here from Market Movers and today I want to discuss a topic that's kind of touching for a lot of people in the country or Ireland at the moment and that is the housing crisis that we do have going on, whether it be with rents, whether it be with mortgages and kind of what the statistics are actually representing in the media at the moment. So I just wanted to kind of generally to kind of discuss this, like what to say, it's many people's situations are, how people are feeling that they're completely left alone by their government and that there is no housing to basically to go around like so the situation here has become very very bad over the last couple of months the listings that you can see in cities is at like an all-time low and also people are just afraid that they can never ever get on the property ladder so i just wanted to briefly kind of discuss this and kind of shed some light on what the situation in Ireland is at the moment so just remember guys to like this subscribe all that kind of stuff and look i will see you in the video So guys, welcome back to the video. And today, as I said, I'm gonna be discussing the current rental situation that's going on in Ireland and also the mortgage situation that is going on. So basically they've kind of put these statistics together and come to their own conclusions of what is actually happening. So the average weekly income of people in Ireland is around 871 euros. They probably could be skewed to the high side to the low side. And this is coming in around 3,486 a month which is 2737 after taxes, which is a take-home salary. So the Housing Agency of Ireland, they recommend that you assign, say, 35% of your income to rent, which is the maximum, maximum amount, 35% of your income. So the average cost of renting in Ireland is now up to 1,447 euros, which is yeah it's expensive and this is in the cities it's a lot worse which we will be looking into just later on in the video um but obviously the countryside itself is a bit cheaper so the average kind of cost of a house in ireland is now two hundred and sixty two thousand euros with the average mortgage rate of 2.76 percent so yeah so look if you're making 20k a year you're going to get a mortgage of around possibly 80 um so yeah you're a long way off that even if you say you're coming in for a couple you might get 160, 150. You're a long way off the average um, house price in Ireland. So this is kind of how they decide that uh, there's a housing or rental crisis. So 35% of 2,737 euros is 957 euros. So that's how much you should be paying in rent uh, based off your income living with one person. So that's how much you should be spending at 35% at a maximum. So the average rental cost in Ireland is actually 1,447 a month. So that would leave you with basically 1,200 a month of money after rent, not including your bills, car, food, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it would make living quite difficult if you were just trying to live your normal life, um, if you're not with a couple or anything like that. So they've come to the conclusion there is a housing crisis in Ireland for rental properties. And this could be due to excess demand. People, people are willing to pay more because they, they want to have their own space, they want to have their own living quarters. And also in the cities, there's obviously a lot more jobs there, a lot more opportunities, so that's why people are moving to the cities. Um, also, the tax on landlords is extremely, extremely high, so the rent will be uh, high just to basically for them to cover their own costs. Um, that's just how it is, and that's kind of what's happening at the moment there. Like, and look, the demand for renting stuff is absolutely crazy, and I'm going to show that as well later in the video. But then they look at is there a housing crisis in buying a home? So, if you buy a home, say for the average of 262,000 euros, um, base your monthly repayment on that. Uh, so, if you take yeah, same, same figure 957 euros a month is how much you would be. 35% uh, of the average income and then the average monthly mortgage cost is 963 so that is basically around the same like so that is yeah they come to the conclusion there isn't a housing crisis in Ireland for purchase properties but there is a crisis for getting on the ladder and being able to purchase a property like so yeah they have certain schemes like have to buy schemes like a new thing where you can buy equity in the house from the government um so that there's a few schemes that are coming up with but this is the situation on the ground at the moment like it's not it's not good it's not what people want it's uh you're 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 getting killed in rent compared to other european countries I know, obviously, if you exclude the cities, like the major cities, you're also going to be paying a lot more. But uh, yeah, you can get a lot cheaper rent in other countries. And 
this is what's hurting young people the most if they think about getting on the property ladder you have to rent out a home you have to get your job in the city and yeah so then you're going to save money on top of this rent it's just next to impossible if you're living alone um, and look that might just be the case for, for, for some people like so yeah look this isn't good and now we're just going to have a quick look at like what is actually available and what is actually showing that this crisis is happening at the moment right so here we can see this is Cork this is uh, yeah where I live and in Cork at the moment there's only 26 properties in the whole city to rent and as you can kind of look through here some of the prices on these are yeah they're over the 1447 euros that they say the average is five bed there for four thousand a month three thousand a month two thousand a month um yeah like the the renting is uh yeah it's it's very very expensive in this in cork city and you'll be lucky to find anything for a one bed under 1600 and the demand is just uh yeah absolutely true to roof for 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 properties um yeah and this doesn't get much better as you move to the other cities like galway you've got 14 properties all of them which are uh, above the average nearly as well uh, limerick you've only got six rental properties in limerick city alone which uh, is a bit cheaper but yeah it's uh, it's still not good and as you go to dublin obviously there's a huge population in dublin compared to the other cities and there's 227 properties like so kind of just between the major cities you're looking at 300 different properties that are for rent obviously this is uh driving the increased prices it's driving the demand uh, through the roof to move to these major cities um we have just a, a, an extremely crazy situation at the moment you had even the french embassy saying that ireland has a massive housing crisis you've seen record homeless levels um, and just demand for housing outright. Um, something that they need to be building 100,000 houses a year, and last year they only built uh, something like 27,000 houses. So they're not keeping up with demand. And yeah, look, it's hard to see where this ends. Um, it's just kind of a little overview of what is happening here at the moment. I don't see how this becomes any more uh, positive quickly. Um, we've, We'll wait and see what they say in the budget in the next week or so and see if they come up with any uh, fantastic solutions for us. Like, But yeah, for now, the housing situation does look bleak. It looks very, very expensive. And yeah, you can see why a lot of young people are now deciding to leave Ireland um, because they just see the lack of opportunity from a housing point of view. So yeah, they're going to kill with rent. So they're going to move to other countries where they're not going to spend as much on rent and have more free income and improve their quality of life. So. That seems to be what's happening across the board. A bit of a brain drain going on in Ireland at the moment um, from young professionals moving abroad to yeah, seek better opportunities and yeah, more income. So guys, yeah, that's just a bit of a touch on what's happening at the moment. Um, let us know in the comments below like if you're experiencing anything kind of like this as well. And uh, yeah, best of luck if you are looking to get a rental property or property get on the ladder as well. So yeah, look guys, if you enjoyed this, do hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.